In today's lesson, we're going to continue with SQL and we're going to look at how do we delete records in our database tables. And this is a part of the Information Technology Grade 12 CAP syllabus. If you've looked at our previous videos, we've seen how do we filter data so that we see just the information we want to see using select statements. We have seen how do we insert records. So we want to insert new records into our database. So we're using the insert. And with the records we've already got there, we've seen how we can change them using the update. And the final bit is how do we get rid of records we don't want anymore. And that's using the delete function. Before we go into it, just a reminder about the database that we're using, the table that we're particularly using. We are using the CD database, and inside that database, we are using the CD table, which looks like this. There's a CD ID, which is the primary key. There's the artist, the CD name, the genre, the replacement value, and the owner ID. That owner ID is specified from the owner table of who owns this particular CD. Let's have a look at the format of an SQL delete statement. Now you start off using the word delete from and then you specify the name of the table. Now if you want to, you can just leave it at that. But then what that's going to do is going to delete every single record in that particular table. So if you want to minimize the damage and you only want to delete certain records, you need to put in a WHERE clause. And in the WHERE clause, you would specify certain criteria. So if you, for example, you want to delete a particular record, then you could specify its primary key. Like in our case, we could say where CDID is equal to number 3. And then it will only delete the third record or the record that's got a CDID of 3. Or maybe you want to delete a whole series of records. Then your criteria could be where the replacement value is less than 100. That means you will be deleting all the records who have a replacement value of less than 100. So your criteria will limit how many records are going to be deleted. So let's just have a look at an example. You could either say delete from CD. And in that case, it's going to delete all the records in the CD table. Or we could say so delete from CD and we could specify where the artist is equal to Muse. That means it will delete all the records where the artist is Muse. So we'll remove Muse from our CD database. And then we could say delete from CD where the replacement value is greater than or equal to 200 and the genre equals rock. This is a case where you've got more than one criteria. The moment you've got a WHERE clause, you can have one criteria or many, and you can use the AND and OR operator that we taught you using the SELECT statements. Let's try apply these to an actual database. Here we have our database. We're going to go, there's our CD table, so you can see all the data in there. I'm going to close it because we're going to delete stuff. Then we're going to, first of all, let's delete the third record. There we go. That Google Dolls album, we're going to delete that one first. So let's go and go to queries and we're going to go to a new design, but we're going to close this and go to the SQL view. Now it says there select and I'll remind you again, we're not doing select statements, we are doing delete. So I'm going to say delete from CD. Now if I run this accidentally, um, then it's going to delete everything in the CD database. So that's why I would recommend if you've run any deletes, I would recommend you make a copy of the database so that if you do make a mistake that you can always get the original data back. So we're going to delete from CD where CD underscore RD equals 3. Now we won't click on the view results because we're not viewing any results. We're simply executing a query and then we'll just go into the table to view the results. So let's go see if this works. It says we're about to delete a record. If I say yes, and then if I open the CD table, you'll see there's no record of CDID3. It's been removed. Now let's go try all the artists that are Muse. Now if I type in where artist equals quote muse we use quotes because it's a string or text so delete from cd where artist equals muse if i run that it was the three records so all the muse records would be removed from cd so if i look there there should be no muse in that list great now let's try the other one with the with the multiple criteria we can say where replacement value is greater than or equal to 200 and at the same time the genre equals rock 
let's go see if there are any records like that let's look over here for i'm going to just sort by replacement value so it's easier for me to see let's sort it by descending there are the 200 uh, so there are quite a few under the 200 and there you can see there are there's a rock there there's a rock there there are a few rock that are greater than equal to 200 so we're going to delete those ones now let's not save changes we're just going to run this query three records yes please delete them and if i go back to the cd table and if i sort it by replacement value we should see no rock over there under the 200 and above so there we see it, it is working so to recap when we want to delete we use an SQL statement, we simply say the word delete from and then we specify the CD name and then we have a WHERE clause with the criteria of which records in that table we want to delete. Now before I end this video, I just want to do a little bit of an advanced section um, using subqueries. You can use it in lots of ways. You can use it with the updates as well, but I'm going to use the example with the delete. Now before I do that, I'm going to just remind you of the other table in this database. We've also got a owner table which has the details of the owners now the owner ID over here relates to the owner ID that's in the CD table so for example if an, a CD has an owner ID of one it means that this person over here for your letter that person owns that particular CD now let's say we've got a scenario where we want to delete from the CD table but the criteria that we want to delete based on is actually in the owner table. For example, I want to delete from CD all the CDs that are owned by people in grade 12D, for example. So in grade 12 and class D. So how do I do it when there's criteria that's in another related table? There must be a relationship between the two tables for us to do a subquery. So for that, we're going to use, as I said, a subquery, which means we're going to do a query inside the delete statement. We're going to use a select statement to find and narrow and filter the data that we want, and then we're going to del delete based on that information. So we're going to delete from CD where the owner ID is in, and so we use the N clause here, and say in brackets, we have our completely separate subquery that's inside this SQL statement. So we say select owner ID, so because that's the only thing we want, from the owner table where grade equals 12 and class equals D. Now if this query will run first, it will return a set of results. So then when it starts deleting, it will only delete if the owner ID is matched inside the query results. So let's go see if this goes and works in our current system, in our current database. Now if I go look at the owner table, and I'm going to sort it by descending order so I can see all the grade 12. So there we can see the grade 12s. There you can see there's a D there, 69, there's 43, 33, and 22. Let's look at 22 and 33. Those are two owner IDs that are in 12, grade 12, class D. Now 22 and 33, remember that. So then when we go to the CD table and we're going to sort by owner ID, let's do it, sort it. And I go to 22. So you can see these are the CDs owned by number 22. Let's remember POD. And then number 33 is the other number. There are some as well. So sum 41. So POD sum 41. So those are the ones we should probably look at. So the, the POD one. The fundamental elements okay so there are records that are owned by people that are in grade 12 class D so we're going to write a query where we delete from CD where the owner ID is in our subquery in our subquery we have a bracket and then we write a normal select statement select owner ID from the owner table if you don't know how to do a select statement go look at our select statement videos where the grade equals 12 and the class equals a d and we're going to put that in brackets i would recommend if you're going to use subqueries first run the select query by itself 
in its own separate query see what the results are see that you're happy with those results and then you can copy that code and paste it in the delete query and place it where you want your subquery so let's see we're deleting from CD where the owner ID is in the results where we get the owner ID from owner where grade 12 grade is equal to 12 and class is equal to 2. As I said we're using a subquery because the criteria that we're looking at is not actually in the CD table that we are going to be deleting from. It's in another related table. Let's run the results and see what happens. It's going to delete 15 rows so we say yes and then if we go into our CD table if we look there should there is POD but that's a different POD that's owned by owner 63 if I sort by artist and we go down to POD let's go look there's quite a few PODs but there's no fundamental elements because that one was deleted because that is owned by someone in grade 12 class D so we know that our results are working so just a recap about subqueries as I said you can use this in updates as well if you want to update something based on criteria in another related table you simply have your criteria is owner ID or the primary key in is what I would recommend and then you select the owner ID from owner where grade equals 12 and class equals D the subquery the whole independent query is put in brackets and our where clauses owner is found in that particular subquery. For more videos on SQL like the select statement, the update statement, the insert statement as well as videos on Delphi as well as Excel and all that please go to our YouTube channel Mr. Long Video Education. You can like our Facebook page or go to our Twitter account and follow us and there you'll get up to date announcements or, or notifications whenever we post a new video that can help you in your matric here or if you use these videos for any other source. We're happy to hear from you. We'd love to hear your comments, so please leave them. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long Way. The examples from today's video are found in the Grade 12 Delphi eNotes that were provided by Study Opportunities. These eNotes are available in 2014. In 2015, a textbook will be released with all the notes and examples that we've displayed and talked about here. If your teacher is interested in getting these textbooks, they can contact Study Opportunities at the following website.